Everything is in divine order. Everything is in perfect position. I am exactly where I am meant to be to get to exactly where I want to go. I am safe. I am protected. I am loved. There are infinite resources available to me. The whole universe is conspiring to give me the best experience possible on this earth. I am looked after at every minute of every day. I am strong, I am healthy, I am vibrant. The universe is a good place to be. My world is a good place to be. I feel blessed to be on this earth. I am so grateful to be in this body. It is an incredible experience to be on the earth at this time. I'm so grateful I showed up for this experience. This experience is assisting me in becoming the best version of myself. I am so grateful for these experiences I am going through. I know that I am being guided and protected at all times to take me to the best possible outcome for myself in this situation. My immune system is strong. My immune system does its job beautifully. My immune system is developed over thousands and thousands of years to be able to handle any challenge thrown at it. And this situation is no different. I know my immune system will beautifully and intricately deal with any unwanted pathogens and viruses in my body. I know that each one of my trillions of cells is filled with love and light energy. And I know I am strong and healthy and I will continue to be so. This time is an opportunity for me to reassess the choices that I make. And I am reflecting and making even better choices. And I know that while I'm doing this, the whole of humanity, everyone across the globe is experiencing the same opportunity to reset, to re-examine and to step out of this period even more aligned with who we truly are. Closer to our vision of humanity living in peace and harmony on this beautiful planet. Closer to our vision of us all living as one in freedom and joy. Closer to our vision of being together in our sovereign bliss. This feeling of sovereignty is available to me at all times and I step gladly into knowing that I am the co-creator of everything that happens in my life and right now I have so many choices and so many directions in which I can take my ever expansive journey and I'm so grateful for that freedom 
that I have in every minute to make choices, to make choices that are unique and individual to me, to make choices that are powerful in my own healing journey that take me into unexplored, unexamined, previously unimaginable states. And that is the nature of existence, that is the nature of universe, to be always evolving, always growing, always stepping into the unknown. And I do that without fear, I do that with strength and bravery and confidence that I am looked after and protected at all times. So right now, as I step into the unknown, right now, as I step into a place that I have never been before, that humanity has never been before, I know that this is all perfect and in divine order it's all in alignment and that feels so good that feels so good and I am so happy about this situation and wherever I go I spread this happiness I transmute this happiness I share this happiness with the people around me and everyone I meet is uplifted by my presence everyone I meet feels expanded by my joy. I refuse to step into fear. I refuse to step into negativity. I am a child of the universe. I am one with the universe. All this is, is a beautiful opportunity for me to experience that on a deeper level. And then for me personally, individually, uniquely, to decide how I want to embody this understanding, how I want to, in my own unique individual way, take this understanding out into the world to further humanity, to further the growth and development of humanity. And I know all over the world, Millions of people are doing the same thing. Millions of people. Maybe billions of people (laughs) are using this time to grow and evolve so that we will come out of this on a higher plane of existence. I'm so grateful to Mother Earth. I love my Mother Earth so much and I know I don't always have the opportunity to express that in the way I would like. And I know that she's not always treated as well as we could treat her. And I know I don't always do everything within my power to make sure that that is not the case. But right now, I'm sending so much love and appreciation to Mother Earth. She is such an incredible force. Such a powerful force. And she has been ignored for too long. And right now she is breathing a sigh of relief. She is exhaling. She is so grateful for this sausage of consumption, of mindlessness, of disconnection. Her waters are healing and calming. Her air is healing and calming. Mother Earth is so happy right now and so grateful for what is happening on our planet right now. And right now, I can tune in to her wisdom, her innate intelligence. And I can know how good that feels I can disconnect from the human fear mind. I can disconnect from the media machine. I can disconnect from everything that's in disharmony. 
and instead I can plug my power into the power of creation. Unlimited, infinite, universal creation. There is so much strength and power in the world for me to connect into. It feels so good when I connect into this. It feels so good to shift my focus into healing. It feels so good to shift my direction into a path that is more aligned with who I truly am. And I really appreciate that all across the globe, each of us individually are making these choices to step into our power, step into our authentic, innate, divine power, not power gained from taking it from others, from forcing our beliefs, our way of doing things on others, but power gained from tuning in to the divine essence of who I am and being at one with the universal energies. Quantum science shows us that we are all one. Quantum entanglement proves that wherever I am, you are, that whatever is happening to me is happening to you, that I am not separate and disconnected from this world, but I am a part, an ever-changing, ever-expanding, ever-growing part of this infinite universe. And I continuously have the opportunity to come back into this remembrance and know that feeling of oneness, know it in my cells, know it in my being, know it in my core. I am part of everything. How powerful is that? The power of the whole universe is inside me. That is what it means to be human. We are conductors of universal energy. At every minute, of every second, of every day, we are conductors of the infinite, divine, universal power. And that feeling, that knowledge, that awareness is available to us at every minute of every second of every day. And now is the perfect opportunity for me to tap into that on a deeper level. For me to embody that on an even more profound level. And for me to take that out into the world. And be of service to humanity embodying the knowledge, the awareness of my sovereignty, my sovereignty at all times. As humans we are sovereign beings, no one and nothing, no limitations can take that away from me. I am here at this time to reclaim my sovereignty, to reclaim my sovereignty on behalf of myself and behalf of the whole of humanity. I am here at this time to step into my divinity, to embody the knowledge of myself as a divine being, a vessel here on the earth to uplift and expand and unfold 
in this ever-changing, dynamic, beautiful, stunningly beautiful existence. I am able to connect to this knowledge and connect to this understanding and connect to this awareness at all times. I do not allow other people to cloud my vision. I am able to remain strong and centered and balanced at all times. I am not triggered by the fears of others. I am compassionate. I am empathetic. But I remain anchored in a sense of well being at all times. This is the most powerful work I can be doing right now. This is the most beautiful work I can be doing right now. To remain anchored in my sense of well-being. To know that every single cell in my body, each one of my trillions of cells is working so, so hard, 24-7, to keep me in a state of wellness. I appreciate every cell in my body. I appreciate my skin, I appreciate my digestive system, I appreciate my cardiovascular system, I appreciate my lungs, I especially appreciate my immune system. I appreciate how all these different systems work together in complex ways I cannot comprehend. And all these systems work together in order to keep me well and to keep me breathing and to keep me loving and to keep me feeling and to keep me alive. Maybe this time allows us to step into a deeper appreciation of how much all those trillions of cells do for us every day, how hard our liver and our intestines and our heart and our lymph and our brains, how hard all these systems work every day to keep us well and alive. I'm so grateful for what is now. I am accepting of what is now. I am enjoying what is now. I am excited about the unknown unfolding of what is coming into place for humanity. Nobody knows what is happening right now. Nobody knows what is happening right now. This is the most glorious opportunity we have yet experienced to step into our divine power and I know I am doing my part towards that. I know I am letting go of fear I am letting go of darkness, I am letting go of worry, I am letting go of doubt and I am stepping deeper and deeper into my faith and deeper and deeper into my heart knowing, into my intuition, into the part of me that is connected to universal intelligence. It's a wonderful feeling, it's a wonderful feeling and I wish everyone 
in the world could feel it right now. So I'm anchoring this feeling into myself and I'm sending it out into the world. And I'm imagining that we live on a planet of prosperity and abundance and joy and bliss and harmony that all suffering is past all wars are past all hate and fear is past all disconnection is past all competition is past all jealousy is past all competitiveness is past we stand together as one sovereign beings our experience on this earth is glorious it's beyond our present comprehension and we look back on this time that we are going through now with immense gratitude for the way it reshaped us and molded us we look back on everything humanity has gone through up till now with compassion and empathy for our suffering and we know that suffering is in the past we have put it into the past we are grateful for everything we have experienced to lead us into this moment we are so grateful for everything we have experienced to lead us into this moment We know everything is perfect into the divine unfolding and everything is leading us into further and further expansion and the next stage of human evolution is the most beautiful, the most wondrous, the most mind-blowing that we have yet experienced as we connect into our innate divine intelligence this is the truth this is the truth right now this is the truth of existence I am embodying this truth spreading this truth like a virus through humanity truth is the new virus divine innate ever expanding truth is the new virus sovereignty is the new virus as we remember our power our power that nothing can take away from us no government no disease this power is beyond all that it's beyond space and time it's more than space and time space and time are just mere reflections of the infinite power of the universe I am tuning in to the quantum field that is beyond space and time in the quantum field there is coherence in the quantum field there is peace in the quantum field there is perfection and I know that I am part of that quantum field and now is the best opportunity ever for me to connect and tap into that eternal that infinite sense of well-being that is my birthright it is my birthright 
sovereignty is our birthright. Bliss is our birthright. I am freeing myself from thousands of years of programming, from generations and generations and generations of programming that has told me it needs to be a different way, that we have to live in fear and suffering and war and disharmony, but that is not the truth. And now is the time of the great revealing where we can step into actually what is the truth of human existence, not what is our programming, not what is the experience that we have been living because that is not it. That is the distortion of the human experience. And we have allowed it for too long. We have allowed it for too long. And now is the divine opportunity to say no more. We are blessed with this planet. We are blessed with these bodies. Every bit of this experience is nothing but a blessing. I have all the food I need. I have all the hydration I need. I am healthy. There is nothing to be stressed about. There is nothing to be worried about. I have food and water and shelter and I am safe. And I am using this time to reconnect with the knowledge and awareness of what safety really means of what my humanity really means to me. I am exploring new ways to express this in the world. I am exploring new ways to share this in the world and this expansion feels so good. I am actually really loving this period in ways I could not have anticipated. And in a strange way, I know when it's all over, I will look back on this and miss this time of heightened awareness. Of inquiry. Of coming together. So I'm appreciating now the difference, the contrast of this period and the gifts that it is giving to me and the blessings that it is showing me. I'm aware of how I am positioning myself in the universe. I am aware of myself as a conductor and the energies that I am conducting. I am aware of the directions that I am intending to go forward in. I am consciously creating the directions that I intend to go forward in. I remember to be grateful at all times for everything. I remember to show myself infinite love and compassion. I remember not to step into fear, not to step into self-recrimination but to keep myself clear and strong and healthy.
and connected to the higher good. I remember to extend that same compassion to all my fellow beings, all my fellow humans, everyone I meet, everyone I connect with. I remember to extend that same unconditional love and compassion. I remember not to get caught into self-limiting beliefs. I remember that I am infinite and eternal and any restrictions are just a belief system that I can change with my own willingness to shift my energy, my thoughts, my vibration to end the cycles of karma. I remember that whatever I focus on, I am bringing into being and I choose to focus on positive outcomes and I choose to draw positive outcomes towards me. I choose to align only with positive outcomes. I choose to remember that positive outcomes are available to us all. If anyone presents anything different, that is their choice. And they are free to make that choice, but it doesn't mean I have to make the same choice. I am free to make the choice to envisage the highest outcomes for myself and in doing so I load the dice in my favour I load the dice in the favour of us all I really enjoy envisaging the highest outcomes for myself and my loved ones I get so much bliss out of imagining the beautiful, wonderful ways that this could all turn out. There are infinite possibilities available to us right now. And I am using that knowledge and that power to step into the greatest and the highest and the most wonderful and I know that I have an influence. I have an influence. And that influence is powerful. And I do this not just for myself. I do it for myself, but I do it for my family and my loved ones. And for everyone in my community. I see us all well, healthy, prospering, abundant, grateful and new for each other and our well-being and the blessing of a human form. I know that anyone who experiences disconnection will ultimately come back to source that everything ultimately has to come back to source in source there is an eternal infinite stream of well-being and we must always return that is the nature of the universe that is the law of the universe we always return into that I know these universal laws are infinitesimally more powerful than man-made structures and conventions and codes of behavior. 
I know, tapping into universal laws of energy and being will serve me so much more than paying too much attention. to the man-made structures. To the man-made information. This knowledge, this awareness is bliss. And I have experienced it before in my life. I have tasted it before in my life. And I wish to taste it more often. And that is the commonality of the human experience. We have fleeting moments most of us have fleeting moments of tasting paradise, tasting bliss, and then forever after we are chasing it, not knowing that it's always inside of us. That we do the work, we do the unfolding, we do the clearing, and there it is. It is our nature, it is our essence, it is the very source of our being, the very wellspring of our being. I am remembering how to do this. I am reconnecting with that power. At this time, we are being asked to choose love or fear. Which will you step into? The currents of each are strong and powerful. Which stream do I choose to step into? I choose to step into love, of course, of course. Why would I choose anything else? Why would I choose anything else? Why would we choose anything else? Collectively, we are ready to make the choice. We are seeing where the fear stream leads us and we do not want to go there we do not want to go there so we consciously we mindfully choose to step into the stream of love infinite eternal beautiful yummy delicious divine gorgeous love it feels so good it feels so good it feels so good and I know when I'm in it this is where I'm meant to be and I'm more careful about the influences I allow in I am more bounded about who and what I expose myself to because I know my work right now is to stay in the stream of delicious, yummy love and not to pay attention, not to pay mind to those forces that would try and teach me otherwise. Those are the energies of the old paradigm, the paradigm we have lived in for thousands of years. That paradigm was dependent on suppression, suppression in many, many forms. And that suppression has to come to an end. It is coming to an end. It cannot sustain. My true nature is divine 
bliss. My true nature has always been and will always be divine bliss. My sovereign birthright is freedom to choose exactly what I will do with my own existence. I am pure gratitude. I am pure love. Every single cell in my body, every single one of my trillions of cells exists in a state of gratitude and compassion. This is all I need. It's all I ever needed today and evermore. I am visualizing my trillions of cells filled with pure love and light energy. Every one of the cells in my body is filled with love and light energy. I can see a golden vortex of love and light energy spiraling around my body and protecting me. So when I go out into the world, I am protected in this vortex of golden love and light energy. I see it spiraling up around my feet, around my legs, around my hips, around my torso, around my chest, around my arms, around my hands, around my neck and all the way around the top of my head so I am protected in a golden spiral of love and light energy wherever I go. I am filled with love and light. I am sharing this love and light with the world. The light is winning. Other vantage points may see it in a different way, but I know in my heart and soul that the light is winning. The light is winning. We are light. It can be no other way. Everything always works out for me. Everything always works out for me. Everything always works out perfectly. When I surrender, when I hand it over to the higher power, when I hand it over to the divine, who works through me. I am actively engaged in bringing the love and light energy to the world. I am actively engaged in bringing the love and light energy to the world. I can do this through my emotions, through my frequency, through my thoughts, through my words, through my actions. 
there are so many ways I can bring the love and light frequency to the earth I can anchor it to the earth right now and I am actively engaged in seeking out those ways and this is a beautiful journey of discovery there is so much for me to learn right now there is so much information on so many levels that I can tap into there are traditional wisdoms going back thousands of years the Chinese traditions the Ayurvedic traditions the yogic traditions the South American shamanic traditions there are so many powerful traditions that I can tap into right now there is so much new information there has been so much new information being released in the recent acceleration of time that we have all experienced there are endless resources for me to explore and take on board so as to gain a better understanding of myself as a human being and what I have come to bring and what my gifts are to share. I am having so much fun researching everything that I can lay my hands on. All this knowledge is nourishing me so much. All this higher knowledge from yogic philosophy to quantum physics to the latest developments in neuroscience. in the science of immunology I'm so grateful to be alive at this time and have access to so much wisdom and so much understanding and so much information and it's a beautiful gift to have this time to immerse myself in it and realize deeper my purpose here on earth and how I can give how I can be of service I have been given so much in my life I have been given so much in my life it blows my mind <laughs> to think of how much I have received in this short time on earth how many beautiful experiences how many amazing people how many incredible books and movies Oh, the music, oh, so much music that I have been uplifted and elevated by time and time again. The incredible food that Mother Nature blesses us with and the incredible chefs <laughs> who take Mother Nature's gifts to the next level. the freedom of movement I have experienced, the freedom of being I have experienced.
I have received an infinite number of blessings in this life and I am so grateful to be able to be of service I am aware that the unfolding may not always be easy may not always be given but I am aware that within that I can make it easier I can make it karma I have the power of how I respond When things are not easy, I always have the power. When things are not easy, I still have the power to choose how I might respond. I am thankful for this strength and this inner stability. I am thankful for my strong core, my strong, resilient core. I am grateful for all the challenges I have been through in my life because they have made me strong. And whatever challenges I will face will serve to make me ever stronger. I have no doubt that we are headed into something unimaginably mind-blowingly transformative The forces of the old paradigm are holding on to the very last, but they cannot win. The light is winning. The light is winning. The light is winning. magic. I am magic and the universe is made of miracles. Nothing, no one, no situation can prevent this from being true. I am actually magic. I am so magic and right now I am jumping head first into that faith, that faith in my own inner magic that has always seen me through everything to this point. Why would it let me down now? Of course it won't let me down. In this lifetime, my magic has got stronger. I have worked on it, I have built it. The universe has sent me test after test after test and each one has served to make my magic even stronger. I dive head first into a faith in my own personal magic. I dive head first into the faith in my own personal magic. And everything that unfolds here on after, 
I will experience from this vantage point, this vantage point of complete, total faith in myself and my strength and my resilience and my faith in the universe to orchestrate everything with the utmost exquisite levels of precision, unimaginably detailed and complex workings, far beyond what my human mind can comprehend, but always working, always unfolding, always expanding. Right now, this is my magic. This is all I need to do. This is the most important work I could be doing. Resting in the awareness. the magic that runs through us all. And knowing that in this time of awakening, those of us who already have this knowledge and understanding are being strengthened. And many, many more are coming into this understanding And we are the winning side. We are the winning force. We are the winning team. Right now, we're winning. <laughs> we so are. I am not distracted by the propaganda machines. I'm not distracted by the fear machines. I anchor myself into my inner work today, tomorrow, and always.